Yahweh Salomon Makim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect. Let's teach this word and all true faith and sincerity. And today I just want to get into a lesson I'm concerning we are in an evil time. You know, the people are not privy to what's going on. You know, you have all these distractions. You know, whether a new single come out, a damn uh, TikTok trend, you know, to what just, uh, you had Juneteenth, you know, these different holidays, all this shit. To keep you from what's really going on which is prophecy and that's ultimately what's going to consume these people man prophecy whether the famine take hold of them or when the when the money crash you're going to have people to invade your homes you're going to know when that time in but that's when it's going to be too late. So matter of fact, let's start off with this in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 12. It reads, for man also knoweth not his time. See, and that's, you know, you're not giving a, a heads up on when you're going to die. You know, like you're going to die. We're gonna suddenly happen, man. And that's just not with man. That's on all levels. Matter of fact, let's get something real quick. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 9. And um man, that's Revelation a lot. Second Ezra huh, chapter 9 and verse 5. It reads, For like is all that is made in the world, half a beginning and the end. And the end is manifest. So everything is created within this earth, which is you see everything from men, peace, uh, even this man's technology. A car got a beginning and the end. You know, you don't see you just you don't see a 1955 Bel Air. If you do, it's been heavily restored, but overall it had a time. Even with kingdoms, the Babylonian Empire was created, but it, it came to an end. We had the Medo Persia; it came and went. Or the Romans. Now you see this beast system. They have came, created, and now it's on the tail end. Of, though I said the end is manifest, it's being manifest by the way of these prophecies taking place. You know, our Lord Yahweh Shad told us, you know, gave us a comparison of the fig tree. You know, when these things began to bud forth, you know, that summer is not, that, you know. So that's why we see famine, pestilence, wars, and rumors of war. You know? Because this is that time. So going back to 2nd Ezra chapter 9. It's so like it, not 2nd Ezra 9. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 12 it read for man also knoweth not his time as the fishes that are taken in an evil net and as the birds that are caught in the snare so yeah you have uh, you know fishes and birds which they go by day day as well as they, they're being snared you know you get a bird you got a, you got a bird trap as a snare a fish you gotta you get you put bait on a hook to lure you in you know have a, a false sense of security just enough for you to be in striking range you know as well as you know uh, of course you know these animals have predators you know birds got predators and fish as well but they're not as on point as a deer a deer some you know the wind can blow crazy and and they will scatter they smell something different in the air they were scattered you know they it's a sense of urgency with a deer 
but a fish and a bird just gonna go back their tape. That's why I said, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time. See, going back that snare. Because, if, you know, our everyday life is, you know, relied on Esau's technology from it, something as simple as running water. You know, that actually requires technology. You know, you got these water pumps that pump water throughout the city. You know, uh, as well as, you know, the AC, you got the, somehow, somewhere your air, you, the house is always 73 degrees year round. You know, uh, these cars and, you know, even just now it's the norm. When you go into the house, you automatically flip the lights on. That's all part of this, man. You know, relying on this technology. I said being used to certain things suddenly is going to be taken away. It says, so are the sons of men snared in the evil time when it follows suddenly upon them. And just going back to man, nor of not his time. It's not like you're going to get a, you get five days, you know, you get a heads up, you know, five days from now, the power going to go out. It's not going to be like that. Or you're going to get a heads up, you know, you know, go ahead and get you some more gold for the money crash next week. No, man. It's being spoken of now. Because we in the season of it. We in that season. But suddenly it's going to take place. That's why even the scripture talk about how the, the end watches to be. We in that moment now, man. You know, but this is the time. We in an evil time. We are in an evil season. You know, and rightfully so. Just you see these people and that's the only way things are going to be made right. Is by the evil, you know, by the the uh, the destruction, you know. Let's get some real quick on um, Second Ezra sixteen. Matter of fact, let me see some. I'm gonna start at fifteen, cause just going back the wickedness, you know, these people are proud. Niggas really, you know, went in for um, for Juneteenth, man. Meaning what? They did nigg more nigga shit, man. And that's just one of many reasons why the Lord is going to gonna cut off two-thirds of our people in this land, man. You know? But um, I'm going to start at verse 5, Second 15, verse 5. It reads, Behold, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, I was shot. I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that's what we speaking on, man. What else could we really preach in this lifetime? We preaching the intents and purposes of your how by Shimia was shot. Let's get some real quick. Because you know we talk about, talk about uh, love and salvation. Well, you it gotta be a balance to it. How can you hope for those things, you know, and mercy without you know destruction and evils? You got to hope for it. When you hear about death, now you can hope for life. You know? So, um, let's get something real quick in the book of Jeremiah. Chapter, I think it's 30. Come on, yep. Jeremiah 30, verse 24. It reads, The first anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it. See? And that's what we, and what we just reading is the first angle. This is how he's going to express that anger by sending forth plagues, famine, death, and destruction, man. This is how Yahweh Bashamal Shah is going to express his anger. It begins now by us speaking on it. The Lord sent forth his prophets to declare his acts. Then ultimately, the Lord is going to show up and show out, man. It says, it says, the first angle of the Lord shall not return until he have done it. And until he have performed the intents of his heart in the latter days, ye shall consider it. So as you can see, you know, um, the first angle of the Lord, it said in the latter days, ye shall consider it. Now, one of those words for consider when you go into it is to teach. So the idea of the first angle of the Lord being taught in the end times is now being made manifest, man. And you literally actually got to consider it because it's, Nothing to pull up an article concerning World War Three, and not something a month ago. It could be something six hours 
if not within the hour because this is the time we in the intents and purposes of the lord is now being known and manifest you know and it's ultimately what destruction evil yeah how about some outside known by the judgment which he executed you know the lord didn't get fame from egypt you know by the way of egypt just prospering no the lord actually set up egypt he just that whole dynamic with joseph being sold into slavery Oh, that was an effort for Egypt to be built up just so the Lord could throw it down. That's what Egypt is known for, that, that overthrow. Which, what the Lord did, uh, Egypt would never, would never came back to that relevancy as it had. You know, where all the nations flocked unto it. So I'm much more Babylon the Great. To where really the whole landmass is going to be a memorial of what not to do. You know? But this is what's being taught in this time. Man. This is the first angle of the Lord, his intent and purpose, which is what? Destruction. Evil. And we ain't even seen. Like, what, what else could we really do? All this wickedness. Yeah, for, you, for you niggas, man, Lord going to really do something to you because you niggas celebrated Juneteenth in the a, in a height of Pride Month. You know, gay is the new black, man. So, yeah, you niggas going to... Y'all niggas going to get it, man. You know? Second verse 15, verse 5, it said, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. See? So, as you can see, the reason why the Lord is sending forth these things is because of their wickedness. That has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. So just like any time of Noah, the Lord came up with, with the solution. Just kill him, man. When you're going to it. That was the solution. Kill him. And that's what Yahweh Bashim al is going to do by the way of these various plagues to come upon the planet earth. And that's part of that hope. You want to talk about teaching and preaching salvation. Well, it starts here. You know, speaking on these things, now we can hope. Matter of fact, let's get that in the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter. Because, yes, we are anticipating. We actually need these things to come. That's going to contribute to our faith. You know, and that's the only way we're going to be able to be delivered. Say, uh, Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, will stand up for the children of thy people. So, we come to a time where divine intervention will take place. You know, the um, Lord dealing in man's affairs, you know, sending forth angels. You know, um, I believe that's, um, I think that's in Psalms 91. It talks about how um, one of the definitions for that word angel, I believe, says to dispatch, dispatch angels as well as when you read, I believe that Psalms 44 talks about uh, it's a commandment. It's commanded to deliver Jacob. And that's really the elect, man. That's who the Lord is going to come and deliver and save and preserve in this time. It says, and there shall be a time of trouble. See, that's why that, that divine intervention is going to take place because of that time of trouble. Why are we in that time of evil? That's why. It says, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. So this is really going to top 70 AD, the transatlantic slave trade. And even if it was real, the, the hollow, you know, the rest. That's going to top all these, these events, these sad events, you know, where man's death took place. You read about certain famines that happened in history, certain sieges. It's not going to compare to what, what the Lord is going to do in this lifetime. With, where, to where now you got mechanical dolls and drones on the scene. You got obese. Obesity is annoying. You know, you got fat people. They used to eat every hour on the hour. And suddenly that that food, uh, you know, you eating and that, that uh, <clears throat> your routine of eating. You know, you got a certain pattern you eat every day. Motherfucker got a... Make sure you eat on lunchtime, snack time, all that, you know. 
that's going to contribute to that trouble being intense, that famine being intensified, you know, just because of the daily lifestyles as well, you know. But this is a time like no other. It says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found read in the book, those that are in your house, you know. So that's what's going to, that calls us to hope, you know, for salvation. You got to preach out uh, evils to preach salvation. That's the balance, man. And we in a time of evil. The only thing we can do is hope that the Lord keep us from these evil times. You know, but for everybody else, you know, they're number to the sword. So, yeah, I can I just hold it with edifying. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. And teach the word in all true faith and sincerity. Shalom.